The ocean covers 70% of the planet and is home to untold numbers of fish populations. In 2014, vessels caught more than 80 million tons of fish from the ocean's waters, a number that tells only part of the story. Every year, illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing hauls in an estimated 10 to 23 billion dollars worth of fish. That's roughly one out of every five fish taken to market. Illegal fishing gives a leg up to operators who have a economic advantage by virtue of their willingness to break the law. It's not economically feasible to have enforcement assets in every part of the world checking compliance. But when tracking and satellite technologies are combined with the speed of gaming software and the power of artificial intelligence, a single analyst is able to monitor large swathes of ocean and pinpoint suspect activity. Most industrial-sized commercial fishing vessels broadcast their location using an automatic identification system known as AIS. Many are equipped with the Vessel Monitoring System, or VMS, which typically sends location data from a vessel to fisheries management authorities via secure satellite communications. Eyes on the Seas can utilize both. The platform uses a variety of algorithms to understand vessel behavior, from fairly simple processing of the data that we receive and making decisions based on that specific data, through to using very advanced machine learning, where the machine learns the movements of vessels and is able to apply that learning to other vessels. The result? Today, an analyst can sit virtually anywhere in the world and patrol the ocean for pirate fishing using eyes on the seas, a joint project of the Pew Charitable Trusts and Satellite Applications Catapult. Here's how it works. Right now we're looking at the South Pacific Ocean outside of Chile's exclusive economic zone. This region is partly managed by the South Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization, which is responsible for the jack mackerel fishery, amongst others. You can see a lot of fishing activity concentrated in a small area here, and we have a variety of alerts for the different vessels indicating different data that's available. So I'm able to click on each of these vessels and determine whether or not it has the adequate permit to be fishing in this part of the world. I can look at the course and the speed, look at the type of fishing, the effort that it's demonstrating in relation to other identifiable vessel information. One way that illegal fishing can go undetected is by transshipment at sea. That's when a fishing vessel offloads its catch to another vessel. The system has alerted us that these vessels are coming together. We can see it through the course, we can see it through their similar speeds, and we can see it through the alarms, which produce an automated alert to an analyst that this activity happens. And that demonstrates a lot of the power of the system because it's doing this analysis for the entire world all at once. Every fishing vessel's track, every non-fishing vessel's track is being analyzed and compared to our algorithms so that we can see what I should look at next. Even if a vessel goes dark and doesn't broadcast its location, eyes on the seas can still find it. So when a vessel turns off its transponder or uh, is operating in a region without any ability to be tracked, we then turn to satellite data sources to understand the activities. Here we're looking at a vessel that is transiting across the Pitcairn Islands exclusive economic zone in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is a large cargo ship who is broadcasting properly, but it's going to give us an opportunity to see the other sources that we're able to bring in and identify other vessels and corroborate what we see from the broadcasting system. So here we see an alert that was generated by a detected contact on what's called synthetic aperture radar, which is a different type of satellite observation that can detect uh, most vessels that are operating on the open ocean. This is what radar from space looks like as an image. Eyes on the Seas analyzes the raw satellite data used to create this snapshot and provides an alert when a vessel is located. We can then look at the position of that contact, its size and its course, and compare that to other vessels that we're broadcasting on different systems to see if there are suspicious vessels operating in a zone that has no authorized fishing in it. No matter the source, Eyes on the Seas keeps all data secure, which allows the system to integrate with confidential or proprietary data sources. 
The applications for a cost-effective platform like this include monitoring of remote marine zones like the Pitcairn Island EEZ or the waters around Easter Island in Chile, as well as for monitoring the activities of vessels that are trying to uh, integrate with the global supply chain in a transparent way that demonstrates their compliance with all of the different rules that a legitimate operator has to follow out on the ocean. While Eyes on the Seas won't end illegal fishing on its own, it has the potential to detect enough rogue vessels to make a significant difference in protecting the ocean.